It's been well over a year since I've done my last Quillbot review, so I thought it would be a good idea to revisit the tool, do a review and walkthrough to see if it is a high quality tool that's worth investing in. If you haven't used Quillbot before, essentially it is a content rewriting tool. It allows you to rewrite content in a variety of different modes. So let's say, for example, we have content that we've written on our website and we want to rewrite that content. We can copy over that content and then we can paste it into Quillbot. And as I mentioned earlier, there's a variety of different ways in which you can rewrite the content. So you can rewrite it for fluency, for formal, for academic style, simple, creative, expanding the content. You can also shorten the content and you have custom modes, which allows you to create your own mode for rewriting the content. So what I want to do is I want to rewrite the content and then we want to take a look to see the quality of the output to see if it actually was able to keep the same ideas and the same style of the article, but just change around the formatting and the tone. So we have the standard mode. Then we have the fluency mode. So again, once you switch in between modes, as you, as you can see here, the content will start rewriting. So on the left will be the original content and on the right will be the new rewritten content. And you can actually go ahead and click onto any of these single words and you can change it to a different word. So for example, let's say we wanted to change intended to, we can change that to aims to. If you wanted to change interpret, we can change that to comprehend. If you wanted to change any of these highlighted words, again, you click on that word and you will get a variation or a simile of that word in which you can use. So this allows you to have a more manual approach as well. So you can rewrite the content, um, adding in more manual touch. And this may actually allow you to bypass AI detectors. So we'll be testing out some of these models or some of these modes on Quillbot to see if we're able to bypass AI detectors. So I've already went ahead and tried the fluency and the formal mode. And unfortunately, we were not able to bypass AI detectors using um, the fluency mode, the formal mode, and the standard mode. So now let's go ahead and try using the creative mode to see if we can rewrite this content, make sure the content makes sense, and also it's able to bypass AI detectors. On the right-hand side, we see the new rewritten content. So we're going to go ahead and copy over this content, head over to originality.ai, and we're going to do a new scan without changing any of the content. So we're just going to go ahead and paste this in here, and let's see if we're able to get a much higher human score compared to our original content. Now, while that's being done, let's actually go ahead and manually change some of these words. So maybe if we change some of these words around, we can actually go ahead and get a higher score. Go ahead and click some of these highlighted words, and we're gonna change around some of the highlighted words to see if that will actually allow us to get a higher human score. Of course, when you're doing this, you'd wanna make sure that everything makes sense, but I'm just going to be doing this um, a little bit sporadically just so that we can um, quickly get some new content here. So this was the original content in which we rewrote. As you can see, it still is 100% AI. So now let's go ahead and test the new content where we've went ahead and changed around some of the words here. So now we're going to go ahead and copy over this text and we're going to paste it into originality.ai. So this is the new written content, which we manually was able to change around some of the words. So the content is still a 100% AI written, even when we went ahead and we manually um, change around some of the words within this specific um, article here. So I would say that Quillbot is not the greatest at bypassing AI detectors, but it is a pretty good tool for rewriting your content in different modes and rewriting your article. So you want to change up the style or the formatting, then it's great to do so. So there's also a couple of other settings which you can play around with on Quillbot. You can increase the synonyms. So that means you will have more changes to the article, but it will be less like the original article. But that means you can really rewrite the article. So it's much less easy to recognize the original article in which you're rewriting. But as I mentioned earlier, you can also expand the contents. If you wanted to, you can click expand. And then as you can see here, we're going from 183 words we've expanded it to 250 words. So if you wanted to expand your content, if it's too short, then you can use that feature. Alternatively, you can also shorten your content. So again, you can click on that shorten section here, and we went from 183 words to 123 words. There's also different languages, so you can use English, US, French, Spanish, and there's also a bunch of different languages in which you can use from. So if you're not a native English speaker, then you can use um, your own language and rewrite it and use all of the features included in Quillbot. There's also a grammar checker. So if you wanted to, we can go ahead, head over to our blog post, and then we can copy over our content here, and we can check the grammar of that content. So let's paste it in here. 
So we'll see these suggestions on the right hand side. We can click accept all five and then it will go ahead and actually automatically um, enter those improvements. So now our article is good to go. We can be much more confident that our content is uh, grammatically correct. There's also a Quill bot flow, which I believe allows you to generate content. So for example, we can generate a blog. We can enter the topic. So how to become a better CEO. And then as you can see here, it will use generative AI to generate the outline. Most likely it's using GPT. Not sure exactly which model you're using, but that was pretty quick. So I'd probably say GPT 3.5. So once it's generated the outline, you can then go ahead and actually complete the paragraph and the AI will start writing. So it will start writing. I wouldn't say it's going to be the best AI writer, but if you wanted to add more content onto your articles, or if you actually wanted to just generate your outlines and then go ahead and pop this into an AI tool, then you can go ahead and use the Quillbot flow. You can also do research so we can ask it a question. So how can effective CEOs continually improve? And it will take the topic in which you're writing about. So you can actually do research on the topic and you can pop that into Quillbot. So I like these features because it's kind of more of an all in one tool. Instead of just rewriting your content, you can actually go ahead and build research and write all of your content within Quillbot. So it's done some research um, to continuously improve as a CEO. Then you can insert this within your article. And of course, you want to make sure that it's well formatted, that everything, everything looks good. But this is cool because Again, we can search, we can ask a question, we can use the research features to get more information about the topic which we're writing about. There's also a notes section which you can add notes. There's also citations, so we can go ahead and create citations um, based upon the topics in which we're writing about. So we have in-text citations. We can create a citation just by entering a URL. So if you are an academic and you're creating essays, this is going to be a very, very useful tool for you because it allows you to create your um, in-text citations or your citations list very, very easily. So that's another really cool feature that is fairly new from Quillbot. There's AI review. So I believe this allows you to um, get general advice, increase clarity and readability, and ensure content is complete. So essentially, this will review your content and give you recommendations that you need to follow to improve your overall article. So again, this will give you tips and tricks in which you can follow to make sure that your article is following the best SEO practices or just following the best content writing practices. So here are some ways in which you can improve your writing. And again, it gives you things in which you can do and actual examples in which you can follow. So again, very, very cool features here. And then lastly, we have a plagiarism checker. So this allows you to check your content for plagiarized materials. Again, this is pretty cool as well, especially if you're an academic or even if you're publishing content online, you need to make sure your content is 100% unique. So I really, really like those features. I think I like the Quillbot flow a lot better than the paraphraser because you can do a lot more with this section. And as I mentioned, there's a plagiarism checker. There's a summarizer, which allows you to paste in a bunch of content, which you got from, let's say, a very big PDF. And then you can actually go ahead and summarize that content. So again, let's say, for example, I wanted to summarize this article here. I can copy over all of the content. Let's say I am lazy and I don't want to go ahead and actually read through all of this. Copy it over paste and then summarize. So this is 1700 words and we got a summary in 421 words. So this is also a really cool feature because let's say you wanted to add a summary section at the top of your blog post, you can do so using this feature. There's also a translator so you can enter your text and then you can translate it into any other language. Let's say if you want to translate it into Arabic or Spanish or Chinese, whatever you want to do, you can do so using Quillbot. So again, another pretty cool feature. We have the citation generator. All you have to do is paste the URL for the website in which you would like to create a citation for, and you can do so very easily. You could also do it for journal articles or books if you are writing academic articles. So Quillbot has definitely improved since my last review. They've added in a lot of new and useful tools and features. So I would highly recommend that you check it out. Um, I don't think the paraphraser is the greatest feature at this moment because you can simply pop this into ChatGPT and tell it to rephrase your content and you can do so for completely free. What I do like, I do like the, um, the flow because I like that you're able to do research and this is great if you're writing academic articles or even if you're writing articles for your blog posts or websites, it makes it easy for you to do research. You can also um, create your outlines. You can also generate content using their workflow. You can get AI reviews for your articles or your essays to make sure that you're following the best practices. You can create citations and you can do plagiarism checkers all within 
the um, document editor in Quillbot. So those are some of the features that I really like from Quillbot. If you want to check it out, I'll leave a link for Quillbot in the description below today's video. As always, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well. And also, I want to take this moment to let you guys know that my AI Writing Mastery course is now open. If you'd like to know the best strategies to write the highest quality AI articles and blog posts, we're currently running a discount. Check it out. The link will be in the description below.